we could become incredibly lazy because there's no necessity. So you have to create necessity in your life. You have to create the need to get things done. It's easy to be lazy if you don't have any emotional connection to what you're involved in. I give the example that I have personally is when I lived in France, I had spent years learning French in the university, but it never really sunk in because I wasn't paying deep attention to it. it didn't mean so much to me. But there I was in Paris, I had to struggle, I had to survive, I had to get a job, I had to get a girlfriend. And suddenly because I had to do it, because it was important to me, because it was necessary, because it was what I call death ground, either learn French or get the hell out, you're not gonna be able to survive. I learned I wasn't lazy. So your laziness is something that has to do with you. You're not connected to something deep enough. You don't feel the necessity. You don't feel the devil at your heels. You don't feel the fact that you could very well die tomorrow that will impel you to get something done. There's no necessity behind it. And the human animal that we were created is when we feel pressure, we feel the necessity to get things done. We can move mountains, and we have plenty of examples of that in history. But when that pressure, like almost like a barometric pressure, releases, and we don't feel the need to get something done, we could become incredibly lazy because there's no necessity. So you have to create necessity in your life. You have to create the need to get things done. You have to give yourself deadlines. You have to remind yourself that tomorrow everything could go kaput. COVID could come back. You could be fired. You could die. You could have an illness. Give yourselves a sense of urgency that I need to get things done quickly. And then when it comes to making decisions, a lot of time what afflicts people is this idea <clears throat> of, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to start my own business. I'm not ready to quit this job. I'm not ready to break up with my relationship which has toxic or whatever. Give me another few months, I've got to prepare myself. I want you to get this idea that you are ready, that you have to try and do things before you think you are ready, right? If you think, well, I'm not prepared to start this business. I need to go back to business school. I need to learn more and more. Shut up and do it. Just jump in the water. You will learn more by starting before you think you are ready. By making that decision, your brain will kick into action you will discover all this energy that you had that you didn't think you had. So make the decision before you think you're ready is the other thing. The final thing I would say is laziness is not all that bad. I must confess that I have moments of laziness. If I was always intense, if I was always on trying to write my books, I would probably be dead by now. And actually, I almost did die because of that. And I've learned over the years to always kind of incorporate moments, an hour or so, where I waste the hell out of time. I'm looking on sports websites, etc. I'm surfing for this or that. I'm reading things that aren't really important. It's important sometimes to take downtime and let your brain unload and not be so focused and on. So it depends on if laziness is a chronic habit or whether you build a little bit of laziness in your day-to-day -day affairs and give yourself some leisure time, some time to relax. So that's how I would answer that particular question.